Hey guys! So today I'm taking a little time to explore another uh, wonderful Tennessee city, uh, Knoxville. So right now we are at Market Square and you can see more of it but right behind me is that big white tent and that is actually an open air ice skating rink that they're setting up for the holidays for people in the area to come and uh, do some fun ice skating which is not something that you can just do naturally and not so it really never gets I don't think that cold. Another really great statue that I found uh, when I was here last time that's behind me is a, I'm going to turn around so you can see better, is a suffragette statue, commemorative statue. I think this is really great. It has um, kind of three women that kind of each followed each other, uh, different t eras and times in uh, the March to Women's Suffrage. So it's a Tennessee Women's Suffrage Memorial and it's right here in the Market Square. <laughs> Rotary Centennial Sculpture. I think that's really cool and you can see what he's doing right there is he is giving the child a polio vaccination. Um, this is where I started my journey today. Uh, had a speaker come and talk about the CCC, the uh, Civilian Conservation Corps, which was going on in the 1930s, started by FDR, and not really well known or talked about a lot, but I think it was a great program, helped a lot of young men have jobs and get off the street during the depression and um, provided food and jobs for thousands of young men and their families. So it's a great program and so we talk about that today. Today we're here to celebrate and pay tribute to the men of the Civilian Conservation Corps. Uh, they've largely been forgotten. I always use the example, Hollywood's made hundreds of movies about World War II. They haven't made a movie about the seas yet. I do have a filmmaker who's been bugging me for a screenplay, so maybe we can change that. Awesome. But in the meantime, we've got some wonderful stories to share. And uh, you mentioned you've got an Alvin York exhibit coming. I hope they include his little stint in the CCCs. I met a woman a few years ago in Ohio. She said she grew up in Crossville. Now, there was a CCC camp built in Cumberland Mountain State Park, as most of you know. Mm -hmm. Well, one Saturday night, one of the fellows in camp borrowed a truck without permission, and he ditched it. And the truck had a crack in the windshield on the rider's side, and there was a long blonde hair in that crack. And the captain of that camp came into the high school on Monday and interviewed every blonde hair woman in that school, <laughs> including this woman who told me this story. She said, I was never so scared in my life. I almost wet my pants. <laughs> Did you go out there Saturday night? Well, the name of the captain was Alvin York. <laughs> he can be a tough old cuss, yep. <laughs> All right, here you go. This is a incredible museum. Uh, right across the street from the Tennessee Historic Theater. Or you can go by Clancy's Tavern and check out uh, their whiskey collection. Uh, side note, if you are not a whiskey fan, I recommend that you check out the Jig and Reel here in Knoxville. All right. Well, rounding out this little brief tour of downtown Knoxville, there's one last place I wanted to show you that I discovered today. And it is right down here, this lovely little Cafe Vicolo. And they have really good coffee and some delightful pastries. You can also go down there and get uh, soup and sandwiches. They also have breakfast all day. 
So there you go. A brief little tour of downtown Knoxville, another fun place. So you can come here even if you don't like football. If you're not a football fan and you don't like the color orange, Knoxville is still a great place to come. There's lots of stuff to do um, and enjoy and see and explore. Here's a map of the local area. You can go to uh, visitknoxville.com and it is the website that tells you all about the different things that are going on, the different activities and events. So I hope that if you're out exploring Tennessee and if you're like me and you're not a big football fan that you won't cross Knoxville off your list, that you'll come and check out um, the history and the art and the culture and the different food venues and um, shopping that they have here in downtown because it's lots of fun. All right. Thanks, guys.